Hi, it's Jennifer and Margo. We're going to hey, do some microcurrent. I'm just going to show you techniques because right now my machine is the professional machine. And so we're going to work on the skin setting and lift setting and some LED lights. But for your little personal machine, it's just going to be helpful for you to see the techniques and the movements that I do and follow kind of the face and the muscles in the face, etc. So I hope this is helpful and let's get started. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to snap in. I wonder if my phone is upside down. Does it matter? Will it keep rotating? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to snap in well, my that gloves. We'll find out. Yeah. Well, yeah. So notice that I have the red and the black, and red is on bottom, right? We're going to work on keeping the red on the bottom and following the muscles on the face. Okay, so I'm going to start um, 10 minutes on the sculpting setting, which for the um, professional machine is lifting and tightening the skin and working on fine lines and wrinkles and working on skin tone. So notice that I lifted and then I have the red on the bottom and the black on the top and because she's over 40, I'm going to count to between 10 and 15. One, two, three, four. Because hold is really important, um, especially when you are over 40. And I'm gonna just sweep up, and I'm just following the areas of the neck, the muscles in the neck. I always just follow in an upward sweeping motion. There's other techniques that you can use, like for example, I can separate and then bring it up, up together and that's called cinch kind of like you're cinching your waist um you can do erase right i can do it with this or i can just set my red um probe here or my red glove here and i can do the erase with the black glove now the black glove is the glove that is doing the work so the current from the positive um, glove is communicating to the negative glove. So wherever you want this muscle to go or the skin to go is where I'm going to be setting my black glove. Setting and then cinching or just bringing it up and holding, right? And I'm really getting underneath. We're not working muscle in this setting, but I still get underneath the chin. I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Of course, in my head. <laughs> I don't do it out to the client. And then I go all the way up the shoulder like this because your muscles are here too. And um, I really want to lift everything around the neck. Skin tightening all the way around, not just in the front. All the way here. because skin is everywhere. And Margo is very red because we just did some dermaplaning on her, which is a skin exfoliation, and we did some extractions. So here I am, I'm following the muscles um, in the face. These muscles start here and go all the way to here, 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 here. But because we have these gloves, there's so much coverage. They're just filled with electrical current that it's kind of dummy proof, right? Mm -hmm. It's getting all of those muscles. So I'm just going like this and I'm going, now I'm gonna do like a little gliding and cinching at the top of the muscle. Cause I really wanna work her jowls. I wanna get those up here. Now, so I'm, I'm gonna just show you something. Here's her face. Here's now if face. I <laughs> See now, dummy proof. See your face? <laughs> now watch, when I go like that, wouldn't it be amazing if it could stick, stick like that, right, with my black glove? That's where I want it. So I'm gonna bring the black glove up and then keep the red glove down here, kind of at the bottom of the muscle. It's gonna communicate. It's gonna embed that current into the muscle. We're creating muscle memory and embedding the muscle into, I'm sorry, embedding the current into the skin. Also, this is going to um, increase the ATP, which is the fuel of all cells. Adenosine triphosphate. I wonder if I even pronounced that correctly. Mm -hmm. 
Now see, you see a little bit of a flutter in Margot's eyes, right? That can really there. kill the current. <laughs> but she's used to it now. In the beginning, she was like, "Woo!" It's That's still too woo. much. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to sweep up because we have muscles that come from here and connect up here. So I'm going to sweep up right under the eyes. And even though my hands are like covering her face, you know, it doesn't. It's not an exact science or placement but you have so much current just flowing through these gloves that it really is getting everything. I can go like this, I can go like this and cinch. Really get underneath these cheek muscles. Even though I'm not working the muscles, yeah, I'm just working the skin in this setting, but I still do the same type of movements as if I'm working the muscles. Now watch this. I'm gonna just keep my red glove steady and I'm going to go and I'm going to do an erase movement on her eyes. I'm going to work on these fine lines and wrinkles. I'm going to lift the saggy skin on her eyelid. Saggy. <laughs> we all get it. We're going to tighten it. We're going to do everything we can to avoid having to get one of those eye surgeries, right? Mm -hmm. And you can just hold if you'd like. Just hold in those areas that you want to just really get extra work. You can do little erase movements on these creases. I'm going to get right underneath her um, eyebrow, pull it up. And even though I have my red glove just like covering her face, I really don't need it to cover her face. I could just be going like this and it will communicate with that black glove, but I get, I'm just giving all of that microcurrent to her. <laughs> yeah, lift that eyebrow. Yeah. I'm just going to sweep under here. I'm even going to just put it underneath her um, lash and under her brow. And while my black glove is on the top, lifting her brow, I can also be doing a little bit of an erase movement here. Do you feel that? Mm-hmm. So it's multi. And I'm also still um, tightening the skin on the forehead. But she's not actually putting the glove or her fingers on my eyeball. She's just going around my eye, which is good. Yeah. Lots of holds. If I was working on a 20 year old, I would be, you know, counting for five. I would hold for five. But in this case, we are reversing. We are not preventing. <laughs> we are reversing our aging. And sometimes you can feel this current. I don't, are you holding the eyebrow up really high? I'm pulling from here. Oh, so, okay. like this. Mm -hmm. And you can feel this current sometimes go all the way through your scalp and all the way to the back of your neck because our muscles go up, go in that direction all the way through our scalp. So even though it is a skin setting, you still can feel it sometimes through the scalp. So I like what you said about, because I get confused with black, red, black, red. So the important part is the black hand or the black probe or the black whatever connection, that's the one that holds where you want the muscle or the skin to go, and then the red one sweeps, or the red one pushes up towards the black one, but the black one is doing the work or holding or directing where you want yes. the muscle to, to go to and to hold and be strong there. Yes. And so with the thyroid, the thyroid is right here, right? Mm -hmm. Like a butterfly. So with the skin one, when I'm sweeping, I'll go over it. But if I'm holding, I'll go to the side of it. There's absolutely been no cases of where it harms your thyroid. Um, I just like to be extra cautious. Just in case a thousand years from now, they say, guess what? Yeah. Just in case they find that smoking causes lung cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
this is stupid. Yeah. It's like, come on, common sense, right? If you're putting any kind of smoke in your lungs, it's got to make common sense, be common sense that it's going mm -hmm. to be damaging. Okay, so we just did 10 minutes of the skin setting. Now I'm going to flip over and I'm going to do the muscle setting. So same thing. Um, same movements. You're going to see me uh, just follow the same lines. I like to, on the muscle movements, especially underneath the, where we get our double chin, I like to just really get double underneath chin. the muscle and just like, you know, really get there. And I like to do a lot of work in this area because this is where people, um, especially women, we have our issues with our jowls and our neck sagging. So I like to do a lot here little increments and then go again and hold 15 14 13 12 11 10 so every time this machine beeps it's every one and a half minutes it's changing the frequency of the electrical current and what i like to describe it is is that when you are working out for example because that's what we're doing we're doing a workout for the face when you're working out and you're trying to define your biceps. You're not going to do a hundred bicep curls. You're going to do 20 bicep curls. You're going to do 20 push-ups. You're going to do 20 hammer curls, and then you're going to alternate them, right? So that's essentially what we're doing so that we don't fatigue that area, whether it's the skin cells or the muscle, we don't want to fatigue it. So again, little by little, and you don't really need to cinch underneath the muscle. I like to because I like to, you know, I know that that's the top of that neck muscle. By the way, all of our muscles in our face are connected to each other. They are not connected to a bone. The only muscle that is connected to the bone is the frontalis, if, if I'm quoting that correctly. Mm -hmm. And so when we're tightening, we may be tightening this neck muscle, but this is attached to, um, you know, the mentalis or the depressor labi inferioris, and then the, <laughs> the mm -hmm. ob obicularis is attached to, um, the masseter and, and so on and so forth. So you want to tighten it all because it's all And Jennifer Aniston together. is attached to Brad Pitt. Yes. <laughs> mm. One day. You think? No. <laughs> so here I am holding the bottom, top, and you can use the top of your gloves, the bottom of your gloves, right? I like to do a little bit of a cinching and hold. I like to just go here and hold and really just tighten this jowl area. Um, and then I'm going to work my way up to the cheek area to lift those jowls. So now I'm gonna go underneath here and where all the muscles from here, they go in like lines like this, right? And they pull up. So I'm gonna get underneath here and underneath the eye right here and let them communicate with each other and embed that current in there. I could even go like this. Wherever your hand is comfortable, wherever it lays is, is fine because uh, sometimes your hands and your arms get tired and you're like, oh, I can't get my hands in the right position. Then just switch them around. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go all the way up and lift this up, lift up her cheek. That feels good. <laughs> and this is why they call it a non-surgical facelift because if you were getting a facelift, they would hook you like this on your ear, and they would hook you up here to lift your jowls. And then you'd look like a plastic face. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen that. Now I'm going to go underneath the eyebrows and just really pull those up. And I'm putting the red probe or red uh, glove. and it's going to communicate to the black because I'm lifting the black is where I want that muscle to go. I could actually be down here and it still will communicate. 
right? Because it's communicating in an up and downward motion. But I'm just going to embed a little bit of muscle, um, a little bit of current right underneath the, the eye. Pull up and I'm going to go right underneath the eyebrow like this. So now there's current flowing all through her forehead muscles, her eyebrow muscles, um, underneath her eye muscles. There's just current flowing through all of it because these gloves are just woven with thousands of tiny little um, threads of silver. I love these gloves. They feel so good. Aren't they good? Mm -hmm. I used to only use the probes because that's how I only have ever had a facial. And then through the more and more training, they're like, no, use the gloves. You're going to get way more coverage. Mm -hmm. I can see why. So if you really want to work on an area, like say you're like, oh my God, my jowls. You can do this whole 10 minute session, which is what my machine is, 10, 10 for skin, 10 for um, muscle. And I can do muscle again and just work on the neck and jowls, not even go to the eyebrows. Like if you have a focused area that you really want to get, just do it again. You can do microcurrent every single day, it's safe because it's mimicking the current that's already in your in your body. And I like an esthetician that I heard talking about how microcurrent needs to be done on a regular basis mm -hmm. to keep the muscles exercised, just like you would, wouldn't just do sit-ups once or mm -hmm. go to the gym once. You go regularly, and microcurrent is a way of exercising the, the skin and the muscles in the face regularly. And also, you want the frequencies to hold, but they don't hold forever, so you need to do it regularly. Mm -hmm. And then she compared it to a cell phone and how you, you can't just charge your cell phone once because the energy in the cell and the battery, the cells, they get used and drained, and then your cell phone dies. Mm -hmm. So the same thing, we instill and embed all this frequency into our muscles to um, charge them with the ATP, the energy, to hold the non-surgical facelift, mm -hmm. but you still have to do it regularly to keep it charged, to keep the muscles embedded with the energy just like you do a cell phone. That's a really good analogy. Because remember, and, and you know what the beauty of this too is like, let's say you went and you got your 10, 10 series facial sessions and then you were doing it monthly to, for the upkeep and the continuance of the lift um, but you know you had a, a family emergency and you were gone for three months and you couldn't do it because we are creating muscle memory you can pick up and you can get those muscles back in shape really quickly back to mm. where they were because you've embedded and created the muscle memory kind of like when you work out your body pretty much exactly the way you work out your body. Mm -hmm. I notice when I'm heavier and haven't worked out, but because I've always worked out all my life, that when I start going to the gym, all of a sudden I have these really defined tricep, triceps, mm -hmm. not tri-tips. <laughs> <laughs> triceps. I'm going to eat the triceps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm like, dang, I already got some definition, but that's because of all the years of me working those triceps out, mm -hmm. the muscle memory comes pretty quick. Unfortunately, not on my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I know. that. Even though if I could get rid of the fat there, yeah, the there muscle, would be really tight muscles there. Yeah, that whole stomach area always needs so much more care. And what's amazing is all the other muscle groups in the body, they tell you to do every other day or every third day, you know, when you're good at personal training, mm -hmm. except for the, the muscle, the core, they tell you to do that every day. Yeah. But it, that one requires more maintenance to mm -hmm. stay strong. Right. So just like with the microcurrent, you can do it every day. Okay, so we did the whole side. Now I'm gonna flip over to the other side. But the purpose of this video is just to basically like show you the maneuver, show you the techniques. Um, remember we have the, the erase, right? And the hold and the lift and hold.
and then the cinch where you just lift the muscle where you want, lift the skin where you want, and then bring the bottom um, positive energy or positive charge and cinch it together and just hold it at the top of that muscle or top of that skin. That's going to be the cinch maneuver. Okay. So anyway, we it was, hope you liked it. Yes, yeah, so it was. It was. We did it to try and get rid of some of the confusion because I we know Patricia's video. She keeps talking black when she's using red and red mm -hmm. when she's using black, and it's confusing. Mm -hmm. So it the is. main thing is just remember the black one goes wherever you want the current to go, the muscle to go, the hold to go, and then the red one, you know, just does whatever. But yeah. Doesn't Margaret look so pretty? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a great improvement. Can you believe it now? <laughs> okay, bye.